What's up, Prize 5 fans? I'm Brian Tong, and in the smartphone world, Windows Phone 7 is making a hard charge, so we're facing off two of the best. It's a Prize 5 punch out between the HTC Titan 2 and the Nokia Lumia 900. Our judges for this fight are senior editor Brian Boom Boom Bennett, senior editor Jessica Dole Pineapple Court, and myself, Brian, got it going on, Tong. Now we'll take all three judges' blind scores and average them out to the nearest 10th each round. The final prize fight score will be an average of all rounds using the same decimal system. It's five rounds of ground and pound. First one is design. The HTC Titan II has a classy design that takes cues from its previous smartphones. It features a massive 4.7 inch screen and the phone's curved edges make it feel slightly more comfortable to hold. It's a great looking phone, but really it lacks originality. Now the Nokia Lumia 900 takes a unique approach with its minimalist polycarbonate unibody design that comes in different colors and looks like a piece of modern pop art. It features a 4.3 inch AMOLED display and its screen looks great. No big surprises here, the Nokia Lumia 900 takes this round with a 4.7 and the HTC Titan 2 gets a 4. Next round is controls and user interface. Both the Titan 2 and the Lumia 900 run Windows Phone 7.5 with a clean and intuitive UI that's fun to use. I'm a fan of the Live Tiles interface that's super customizable, modern, and really doesn't play copycat to any other phone OS on the market with Bing Search integrated as its own button to access anytime. Now the learning curve for Windows Phone is somewhere between Android and iOS, so it's a good place to be. Now the HTC Titan 2's power button is at the top and it can be a little awkward to get a hold of because of its size, where the Lumia 900's power button is placed on the side. Now I know you'll have to get used to it, but I like its placement for these larger phones so I don't have to shift my hand to reach for the top. The Lumia takes this round with a 4 and the Titan 2 gets a 3.7. So after two rounds, the Lumia 900 leads by half a point. Next round is features. Both of these phones are 4G LTE beasts on AT&T with 16 gigs of storage, the standard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support, but no removable battery and no expandable memory slots, which some of you probably aren't too happy about. Now the biggest differentiator between these two phones is the Lumia 900's AMOLED display with clear black technology that has the lowest reflectance out of any glass screen on the market and it looks stellar when you compare it to the Titan 2. The Lumia 900 takes round 3 with a 4.3 and the Titan 2 gets a 4. Next round is web browsing and multimedia. Both phones use Internet Explorer with its hybrid address and search bar at the bottom. It supports tab browsing and you can pin favorite websites directly to your home screen. The HTC Titan 2 makes a statement with its 16 megapixel camera with a dual LED flash that's loaded with features galore and options for burst mode shooting, my favorite panoramas, and it also shoots 720p video. Now the Lumia brings an 8 megapixel camera with a dual LED flash as well and 720p video that does a solid job but just can't compete with the Titan 2's features. Plus, multimedia on both phones looks great, but the slightly smaller Lumia 900 screen displayed more vibrant colors when compared side by side. HTC's Titan 2 still takes this round with a 4.3, and Nokia gets a 4. So after averaging 4 rounds, HTC has closed the gap, but it's still behind. The final round that decides it all is performance and value. Both of these phones are snappy, and the Windows Phone 7 UI doesn't feel laggy on either device. Call quality might vary depending on where you are, but for the most part, both phones were solid performers. Now the biggest difference here is the value, and at $199 with a two-year contract, the HTC Titan 2 falls in line with many of the top smartphones on the market. But the Nokia Lumia 900 said, let's just screw it, and brings one of the best values for any phone on the market today at $99 with a contract, and that's just a great value for the phone you're getting. The Lumia 900 takes the final round with a perfect 5, and the Titan 2 gets a 3.3. So let's average out all 5 rounds, and if you were keeping score, the ACC Titan 2 just couldn't connect with any punches, while Nokia's Lumia 900 took the lead and held onto it with a knockout punch in round 5, taking this battle 4.4 to 3.9, and is your prize fight winner. The Nokia Lumia 900 is a flagship phone for Windows Phone that does the platform proud, but we all know it still has a long road ahead to prove itself in the market. I'm Brian Tong. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time for another prize fight.